Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today's video we're going to be replacing the thermal pads and doing the core on an EVGA for the Win 3. If you think that's interesting, hit like, subscribe at the bell, go to CryptoLLC.org. If you're looking for someone to set up a GPU or ASIC mining farm, you want to invest. Right now is a good time to do it. Prices are down. Bitcoin is down. That means that you can get these cards for a very good price back down to MSRP. Don't miss your chance on that. So in today's video, it's going to be the EVGA for the Win 3. Took off the back plate already, taking apart the insides, replacing all the thermal pads and the core. Before we get started, don't forget our little slogan here, Crypto LLC, is Bitcoin saves your wealth, but Jesus Christ saves your soul. So make sure you have both of those and you'll be all set. All right, so we have not done one of these before. EVGA for the Win3 has very good solid uh, temps. You don't really need to change anything, um, but once in a while you might get a card that doesn't have very good temps, so you might have to do it. Uh, this is my personal card. It's a 3090 for the Win3, and uh, I decided to replace thermal pads just because I can, uh, and I doubt that they're using the best thermal pad. Uh, they're not using what we use, which is we use, uh, here's a couple different sizes, like one millimeter, half millimeter, 1.5 and two millimeter. Uh, we use uh, 14, 15 MK uh, quality of thermal pads, and I doubt these are of that quality. So we're going to replace them just because I can. Also going to be using uh, top of the line uh, Grizzly, Thermal Grizzly for the core. Uh, again, just because I can. So we're going to be doing that. Now for the farm... Uh, for the farm, you don't need to replace these thermal pads. They usually don't have much effect um, that much. For a 3080, this is a 3090, so you will need to replace it on the back plate since you have 12 chips on the front and then on the other side you have the other 12. So you have to replace both sides if it's a 3090, most likely. Sometimes you don't. It just depends where the problem was. Maybe the heat wasn't really dissipating inside or maybe the heat was on the outside. Like We had 3080, uh, 3090 turbos. And uh, we only replaced the thermos on the back plate, and that was enough for the car to work at a lot better temperatures. Um, but like I said, this is an EVGA for the Win 3, so it's a little different. We'll be, we'll be looking at that. So I'm gonna, what I'm going to do is I'm going to clean off all of this residue here, um, put on new thermo pads, put it right over the, the chips actually, not here. I'll put it right over the chips. So I'll place those. And then I'm going to dig inside and take apart the inside and do that as well. All right, we got our thermal pads. So it's a 1.5 thermal pad. We'll put that on, covered all 12 chips. So I got four, four, three, and one. So that's 12 chips. Ready to go. You got some close-up shots of that. So we got to cover the whole entire VRAM. All the edges, make sure that there is no piece of the VRAM that hasn't been covered. So that the whole entire VRAM is getting cooled off and no potential problems. All right, now let's go inside. Now the card has been taken apart. All I had to do was just pull the card apart. It was all the bolts and nuts were already all loose. We can see that the card thermal pads, like over here, pretty dry actually. This card was used for about six months. Let me move this over here, get a better idea of what's going on. But this card has been used for about like six months and I already see a big change in the quality of the thermal pad. You can see that it's ripping. I mean, I touch it, it feels pretty dry. This is still good right here. It's actual VRAM part, you know, where the, where the 12 uh, chips are. So the VRAM is fine, but these side thermal pads, look at this. It's like squashed and just gone. And over here, look at that. It's all just, it's dry. So this is really uh, not good. I mean, I, I don't think it was overheating or anything. And again, I use my card, my card mainly for... Um, video editing and so 
it's not like I did anything serious on it, like only anything that big. So the fact that a lot of the power, where the power is, that thermal pad is just gone. Very interesting. This one's still good, but the one on this LR22, it's just gone. Uh, v ramped again, pieces of it just just being torn off, you know, being left by this thermal pad. I don't know, maybe the thermal pad is just not great quality, but you can see that this thing needs a new thermal pad basically on the power power here on the sides, and obviously we're doing the V ramps here. Um, in terms of the core, touching the core to see if it's still good uh, quality thermal paste on there, but it's not. This uh, these sides feel pretty dry. And this is a little bit sticky, <laughs> but not in good shape. Over here, also feeling this. Yeah, it's pretty dry. It, it's dry, so it's, it, it basically dried out. They were probably using also not great uh, core thermal paste. So what I'm gonna do is replace thermal pads uh, on the, L, what's it called, the uh, LR22, and then also going to replace wherever it's torn here next to the copper heat plate. So replace that as well and kind of just go through and then put in, put a new core paste. All right, so hold on. All right, we got all our pads on and the thermal grease. Give you guys a close up. It's covered all our 12 chips, the two millimeter thermal pad. And then we have our core, We've got Thermal Grizzly, all ready to go. And on this side, we also have our thermal pads here, and then over here. So the thermal pads will be cooling off LR2, these little small chips here, LR22 actually, and these little small chips there. Now there's some you know thermal pad that's still left over between the chips, that doesn't matter. It's non-conductive, nothing's gonna happen. As long as it's uh, evenly on the chips, and the chips again transfer that heat to the thermal pad, and the thermal pad will transfer it to the heat sink and get that heat away from these components, everything's fine. Our copper over here, see it's nice and clean. Everything is ready to go. So now I'm going to put together the card, and show you guys the finished product. All right, the card is complete. Show you guys, we got a new thermal pad, nice and blue. You see that thermal pad right there on that power? See that gray power brick right there? And then to the left of it is that blue thermal pad. Let me get it over here. We got nice contact, great contact. Same thing on this side. Look at that. Got a little extra thermal pad there. You see it's a little, I can actually cut that off, but whatever, it's fine. But the most important thing is you can see that the thermal pad has really good contact on that power. And then take a look at the blue one there. Look at that, perfect. Everything is great. There's that thermal pad on the VRAM. So the card has basically just been rejuvenated, right? It's got a new life. Now she have really nice core and VRAM temps on this card. I mean, even before the change, I didn't have any problems. I didn't have an overheating core, overheating VRAM. Everything was fine. It's actually very, very cool. Works great. But thought might as well just uh, replace it just, just because. Just because I could and I had some thermal pads here and so on. So it's all ready, ready to go. Plug it back in. Um, the only thing uh, that I noticed was when I actually screwing these little bolts in. Some of them have like little nuts. I'll show you guys, see that? Got the bolt and the nut. And it goes right here in this last hole and it was just really hard to screw that one in. You can kind of see why. It's like inside of there. See that? Um, so it's really tough to get this last one in. I'll try to get it in maybe later, but it's not important. This is nice and sturdy. Back plate on those VRAMs. Real nice and sturdy, can be cooling it off well. Um, so adding that extra nut is not really going to change anything. So I was like, whatever, maybe I'll do it later, or maybe not. 
But other than that, everything's good to go. So I hope you guys liked the video. You know what to do. Hit like, subscribe, hit the bell. Go to CryptoLLC.org. If you're looking for someone to set up a GP or ASIC mining farm, we do these type of replacements on thermal pads for different cards. Uh, we have never done an EVGA for the Win3 because it does not need that. But sometimes Zotax, MSIs, Gigabyte, Turbos, they do need this thermal pad replacement. Also, NVIDIA stock cards need that as well. But not this one. But anyway, hope you guys like it. And until next one, bye.